Every red dot on this map is a tiny earthquake, some 40 to 60 miles underground. Last Sunday it was 197, mostly under Kitsap and Pierce counties. Then it spread to more than 500 a day. They usually happen over the course of several weeks, about every 14 months. And until about 20 years ago, we didn't even know they existed. Maybe 2002, 2003, that we started realizing that these uh, tremor events take place deep under Western Washington. University of Washington Professor Emeritus Steve Malone has been listening for them since the early days by putting out sensitive seismometers. It relieves as much strain energy as, say, a magnitude six earthquake would do so. But since it's spread out in time, you don't feel it. This map captures the pattern since 2003, a band of deep quakes running from Vancouver Island, Canada, under western Washington and Oregon to northern California, a series of tiny tremors that play out over time. If each of those weeks-long events happened quickly, they would be the rough equivalent of the Nisqually earthquake in 2001, a 6.8. It's dark down there, so think of it this way. You're in a dark room and you set off flashes. Each flash is like a little earthquake, revealing something else that's in the room. Eventually, you get the full picture. I do actually think that these things are giving us a window into a part of the earth we can't get to. Also called slow slip or deep tremor, they're a lot more than a scientific curiosity. They're believed to be the leading edge of the subducting Juan de Fuca plate that's being pushed or subducted under the land we stand on, the North American plate. Deep down where the tremors happen, the heat of the earth makes the plate plastic and stretchy. But close to the surface, the plates are expected to move again in a giant earthquake, a magnitude nine. That's on the kind of scale we saw in northwestern Japan in 2011. The question, will these silent earthquakes provide a warning when the big one will come? Harold Tobin is Washington's chief seismologist and an expert on subduction zones like ours. Do we eventually understand what the potential is for this being a predictive tool? Yeah, my, I'm optimistic that that is where the science is headed. Right. As the earth gives up a little bit of its mystery, every time these quakes happen. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.